Hey guys, this is a quick tip video how you can use a 78 series regulator for a different voltage or even adjustable. Now this is not a secret or anything, it's right on the data sheet. You can use these regulators as an adjustable version. Why would you want to do this? There's already an LM317 you can use. But if you're like me, you probably have tons of these things laying around that you acquired from you know one way or another for example uh, somebody sent me a bunch of electronic components and they had a bunch of these 7805s in them sometimes you might need to regulate a circuit at a different voltage and you may not have a 317 handy you can certainly use one of these 78 series regulators how can you do that well it's quite simple well, first of all, let's take a look at the regulator in normal use. You have your input voltage on this pin, your common or ground on this pin, and your output is this right side pin looking from the front. The input voltage is usually around 2.5 volts higher than the output voltage because you have to follow its uh, minimum dropout rating because if you go below that, the voltage stops being regulated and then it starts to drop. The regulator has this ground pin because it needs to have a reference point to be able to set the output voltage. You know this output voltage is relative to the common point or the ground in the circuit. So you connect that pin to ground. However if you raise the voltage on this pin you can set the regulator's output voltage to be you know what it's rated for. For example, a 7805 is a 5 volt regulator plus whatever the voltage on this pin is. So if you use a Zener diode or an LED, you can adjust the voltage. So here I've added a couple LEDs to the ground pin and these are the red types, so it's about 2 volts per LED. Now there's going to be a constant current flowing out of this pin, about 10 milliamps. And that will work perfect with these LEDs. Or you can even use a Zener diode. So the voltage drop across this pin from ground will be about 4 volts. So if I add that to the regulator's nominal rating of 5 volts, it will be 9 volts. So I should get around 9 volts of output. Okay, I have a circuit set up. It's just this right here. This other stuff is not part of it. I have the 7805 on this little heat sink. The two red LEDs. Power supply is connected up. I have the meter connected. And this incandescent bulb here acts as a load. So let me turn on the voltage, the power supply. You can see we're getting an even 9 volts of output so that came out pretty good so let's see what my input voltage is come down here so I'm putting in 15 volts and let's measure the ground or common leg on the regulator so the LEDs are around 3.8 volts so it's not perfect 4 volts so it is doing the job. Let me plug that back in to the output and let me adjust the voltage I'm dropping the voltage let's see where it is and we're down to 12 and a half so it's still regulating let me turn it to where it starts to drop out. Okay, it's starting to drop out now. And I'll go up into the I'll go up until the point where it stops changing. Right around there it seems to stop. So let me measure the input. 11.6 so there's what 
about two and a half volts. Like I said, it'd be around that level before the regulator stops regulating. So there you go, how to use a 5 volt regulator to give you a different voltage if you didn't have a regulator such as a 317 handy. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.